First, there's new information in the case against the Army reservist who held seven Mexican illegal immigrants at gunpoint today. A Maricopa County attorney announced that reservist Patrick Hobb had the legal right to make a citizen's arrest in the case. Arizona law allows a private citizen to make a legal arrest if a felony has been committed and that the person he is arresting committed the felony. Joining us now is Army reservist Patrick Hobb, along with his attorney, David Cantor. Good to see you both once again. Patrick, explain to me. Did you see a felony being committed? Explain the circumstances once again of these, this arrest you made or the stopping of these people. Did you see or think a felony was being committed? Well, uh, I mean, it all started out as a self-defense and um, just went from there. So, I mean, I couldn't tell at first uh, what was going on besides uh, men were rushing me out of a field. So I just went off uh, self-defense right there. So it wasn't it that you saw a felony. You thought a felony would be committed against you. But did, did you at that time believe this, these were illegal immigrants? Um, that was my assumption once they had started mumbling Spanish back and forth to each other. And uh, just having multiple layers of clothing on, having backpacks and everything. But, uh, and then it was later confirmed by another individual who spoke Spanish. Now, Mr. Cantor, as I understand it, the law states you have to either see a felony or know that the person committed a felony. Uh, I understand that they're not going to press charges here, but wasn't this based on an assumption that Patrick was making, not the actual commission of a felony? Well, actually, the way the law reads is if there's a misdemeanor, which is a breach of the peace, or a felony being committed. Either one will qualify for citizen's arrest. And here are the misdemeanors of threats by conduct, intimidation by conduct, disorderly conduct. Uh, those, uh, along with the justification of self-defense, gave him the grounds. And then, of course, it was confirmed um, once he reached their vehicle that they were, in fact, illegal aliens being led by a coyote. Hey, uh, Sergeant, welcome back to the program. Uh, I'm relieved for your sake that uh that, that this happened. Why do you think originally you weren't believed that, that you were rushed? Why do you think that was, that there was some criticism that you had followed them to their car after you had claimed that they had rushed you? Why do you think that you, there was a lack of belief here? You're a guy who just got back from serving your country. Well, I mean, uh, on the 911 call, everybody says, well, you, you sound calm. You don't mention anything about it. And I mean, it's just training took over. I've uh, been in situations overseas like this before. Yeah. And so, I mean, it, I just kind of cut to the chase of uh, the current situation and uh, kept a cool head through it. You know, I got to tell you something. I'm not sure if you didn't have the publicity you had and that there was an overwhelming support. I know that, for example, KNST in, in Tucson and, and KFY in Phoenix, I mean, you had a lot of support on talk radio and a lot of support in the community. And I'm not really sure had that message, and right here on Fox, I'm not sure if that message had not gotten out and whether or not you'd be in the position you are today. Do you think the publicity helped a lot? Well, uh... <laughs> yeah, without a doubt, your show is one of the, the leading factors as to why this man is no longer facing five to 105 years in prison. Uh, the support you generated along with the local talk radio really helped. I think it forced the county attorney's office to take a hard look at what they were dealing with. I want you both to respond to the, to the words of uh, the county attorney, Andrew Thomas. And by the way, I like Joe Arpaio. I, 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 he's been, I think, a terrific sheriff. And I was, I, it was one of the few times I ever disagreed with him. Um, uh, but the county attorney said, quote, I don't want the message to go out that people can start rounding up illegal immigrants whether or not they think they're here legally or whether or not they know all the facts, he said. This is a very unusual case with a narrow set of facts and unusual circumstances that allow you to avoid prosecution. He's basically saying this had everything to do with the fact that you were rushed, that you felt you were in, your life was in jeopardy, correct, Sergeant? Well, uh, yes, that's correct, sir. Um, and it's definitely uh, something where I don't advocate or <laughs> feel that anybody should do this. Um, mm -hmm unless they have the training. I mean, you got to defend yourself, but as far as going out and looking for people yeah. like the story originally had, definitely uh, don't do that. You had no agenda. This was not about rounding up illegal immigrants, as some have suggested. That's correct. Uh, I mean, it could have been uh, anybody in the field uh, rushing me like that, and I would have acted the same. Sergeant, we thank you, and uh, Council, we thank you for being with us tonight.